today we are going to see interview questions on very important topic to write logic this topic is very very important and the topic name is for loop or while loop do while loop multiple loops are there in java so we are going to discuss all kind of loops and all interview questions related to these loops let's move on to first question so first question is explain the difference between the for loop while loop and do while loop remember guys first you need to remember syntax of all these three so i'm going to explain you this thing here let's say for loop how to write for loop you need to write like this int i equal to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus so this is a for loop how while loop you need to write while some condition over here and then some logic will be here how to write do while just write do and then while and some condition so first of all this is syntax now in this question it has been asked can you explain all of these so you should be explaining in for loop you have initialization at start then condition and then increment in while loop you don't have uh, initialization you don't have increment so what i would say why to use while loop i will use while loop if i don't know how much i want to increment i don't know if what value to be initialized then i'll go for while loop what is in do while this condition the whatever code you write here doesn't have any condition unconditional means this will execute always but this code will be always depend upon the this condition it's very simple so i tried to explain you all three loops okay so moving to next question next question is how does the for each loop simplify array and collection traversal in java it's very important question see now we know this for loop we know this for loop what they asked us for each loop means for loop you know three things you need to write here initialization then condition and then increment whereas in for each loop you will have only two things here colon will be there here data type which uh, data type you want to use and here array or collection to see this in more detail i would say let's say there is example int x something like this and some values are there 5 comma 8 comma 9 anything and if you want to initialize this then in ordinary for loop you need to have like this x dot length you will be using here here i plus plus and here i equal to 0 but if you go with the for each loop which is introduced in jdk 5 you will have a simpler way of doing this for colon x integer p and sop here if you look at <coughs> you don't need to mention condition here less than and greater than is confusing people don't understand it here you don't need to uh, here you need to increment but here you don't need to increment so that is different but remember as this is a series which i am building for you all which you have uh, bought in this marketplace i want to give you some tricky things also here remember this for loop at compile time converts into this for loop so if someone asks for development which is faster you should this if someone asks performance wise which will be faster than this because this for loop needs to get converted into this widely used for loop which one then answer is this this for loop everybody is using these days so just remember difference between these two this question was very important next question discuss the purpose of break statement in java loop. break means terminate unusual it's just terminate don't go ahead so if you have for loop if you have for loop here something int x colon something list and if you do like this if x is less than 5 and then break means means this for loop will get terminated no statements 
after this break will get executed means if you write some sop here it will never get printed automatically it comes here after for loop let's say this is a for loop we have designed so if you do break means it comes out of the for loop and start executing some lines written below remember this break means termination termination of what for loop so it's very simple guys right? so next question what is the role of the continue statement in the loop continue means skip break means terminate continue means skip so if i come here and if you write instead of break if you write here continue what is going to happen only this part will get skipped on this part will get skipped whether for loop will continue or not answer is yes for loop will continue but this code execution will be reduced and it will get skipped so <clears throat> these are the questions i covered in this uh, uh, video i am covering more questions in the next video related to loop concept thank you